Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking the hottest Korean skincare products. Once a quarter, all the biggest online retailers of Korean skincare pull together and reveal their best sellers list. I always think it's quite a fun video to collate all these best sellers together to work out what exactly us, the skincare consumer, are buying. What are the best selling Korean skincare products at the moment and are they worth it? Are any of them any good and should we be using them in our own skincare routine? Sit back, relax, let's talk the top 10 best selling Korean skincare. Now, before we get into today's video, I always like to issue a big old disclaimer to say this video isn't sponsored and it's not in paid partnership with anyone. And the reason I like to say that is often the Korean skincare we see online is paid for in sponsorship with one of the big Korean skincare brands or retailers. I don't have anything against sponsored content. It's just not something I do here on Mad About Skin. I feel that by turning down the coin, it helps me to retain my independence. So you will never see a paid partnership or sponsored post here on the channel. If you want to support me as a sponsor, free content creator, the very best way of doing that is by reaching down and giving the video a big thumbs up and a like. The more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you. Now these products are, well some of them are firm favourites that I've been using for years, others are completely new to me and I would love to hear your thoughts, feelings and opinions on any of them. So sound off in the comments section below. But with all that out of the way, shall we cut that waffle and delve straight on in? Now, today's video, I'm going to keep chatty and free flowing. We're going to do zero editing or jump cuts because I think by keeping it chatty, it's just like, you know, friends sitting down talking about some best selling Korean skincare. And um, if you enjoy this style of video where we do keep it more chatty and free flowing, let me know in the comments section below because I really do want to create the content that you guys most enjoy consuming. So your feedback would be really, really appreciated. Now, I've pulled together this top 10 list based on the best sellers from all the big Korean retailers here in the West, and I've done my best to kind of piece it together. This, though, is in no particular order because it would be impossible to work out the exact positions of each product, but this, this is the overall top 10. I've left links to all the products mentioned in the description box below, so if you wanted to check out the price point, the ingredients, or make a purchase, all those links are there for your convenience. There has been a lot of change, a lot of change in the top 10. This quarter versus say like a year ago and I've often found that a lot of the really big Korean skincare brands are falling out of favor a little bit. Some of the former bestsellers that have been in this top 10 for years no longer appear and this is something that I um, captured in a recent video where I talked about some of the issues in the Korean skincare market at the moment. I'll leave a link to that video up there if you did want to check it out. But the first product that appeared on this bestsellers list is one that has appeared before and continues to be a firm favorite and it's this. This is the Dr. Jart Sycopare Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So this is designed to be a calming and soothing cream that when you put on the skin has like a slight greeny tinge to it that will cancel out any redness. For people that know their color wheel, their color theory, green cancels out red. So anyone that has a very redness prone skin type, using something that just has a hint of green to it will kind of help color correct some of that. This, this is a firm favorite for so many people. I think it's great if you've got very redness prone skin and you want something to take it down to use as a primer before makeup. Um, when it comes to the ingredients list, it's fine. It's got a lot of nice calming and soothing ingredients, but for me, it does also have quite a lot of fragrance to it. Now, all that fragrance is natural, but it's present. And once you put this on the skin, I find that the fragrance does linger a little bit longer than I ideally would like. Now, this is one I actually bought for my mum. Uh, my mum has rosacea. She swears by this to take the redness down. She absolutely loves it. So when I was doing my Korean skincare purchasing for this video, I put one of these on order for her. I personally won't use it. I haven't opened it because I've used it in the past and it's it's, it's not for me. Um, but she absolutely loves it. So I think if you've got very redness prone skin, you've got rosacea, you want something to just really take that down. This could be a great, great option. So mum, if you're watching this, this is winging its way to you. Now, the second product on this list is a complete newcomer to the bestsellers because I think it only launched maybe a couple of months ago. Anyway, it's gone viral over on TikTok, like a lot of these things. It goes viral on TikTok and it becomes a bestseller. This is the MediPeel Gold Age Tox Cream. Now, I actually shared my thoughts and opinions on this on the Mad About Skin TikTok channel. If you aren't over, if you're over on TikTok and you're not following, I'll leave a link in the comments to how you can follow us on TikTok if you want. My heart will always be here on YouTube with long form content, but I am finding TikTok fun. So if you want to see some different videos, some shorter content, yep, yeah, it's over, we're over there too. So 
Yeah, I filmed a bit of a response video to this because it's gone viral and just because it's very gimmicky. So in this, you've got, it's designed to give you eight different weights of hydration. It's like the maximum hydration you're gonna get from a cream. It does so in these little balls, which you can see. Now, this is very gimmicky. It's very trendy. It's very popular. I get that. And if you can see, you can actually pick out some of these balls from it. So I'll try and do, I'll try, it gets very messy. It gets very messy. I'll try and scoop one of these out. So yeah, there we go. So you almost pick out one of these gold sort of balls that sit within it. And then that works with the gel that's also in it to kind of give you the best hydration experience. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think, I think it's gimmicky. People love it um, because it's different. Nothing else like it on the market. I get that. But honestly, for me, I think it's a lot of faff, a lot of mess for not a whole lot of hydration. Like, it feels nice. Don't get me wrong. It feels nice. And a little goes a long way. So one of these little pearls or balls will do the whole face and neck. You can see that. It's nice, but oh my God, it is fragrance overload. There are seven different fragrant components within that. And it is fragrance overload. So I would say if you're someone with very sensitive skin, you're sensitive to fragrance, this is a firm pass. Um, for everyone else, it's nice, it's gimmicky, it's got some nice hydrators in it. I just don't think it's that amazing if I'm honest. So yeah, that for me is a bit of a pass. I think if you want to try it, something a bit gimmicky, go for it. But just be aware, the fragrance, it lingers. It just... It, it does plump up the skin and it does make the skin feel really nice afterwards. I just think that fragrance is too, too much. Um, so one product that I think a single content creator sent viral is this. This is a Tita Milk Skin Toner. Now this went um, viral when Michaela Noguera, I hope I pronounced that right, um, featured it on her TikTok channel. Obviously she's one of the biggest TikTokers on the planet. She said she loved this. It went viral and just about everyone was buying it. Now, actually, I think this is a really good product. It's got a lot of hidden gems in here and it's called a refreshing skin essence. But I would say like with a lot of things in skincare, take notice of the ingredients list because what this doesn't tell you is it's actually packed full of peptides. This is a great anti-aging toner and essence. So I think while some people will just use this as a bit of a milky hydrator, they probably don't realize they're getting a lot of anti-aging benefit too. It contains my favorite peptide, Azuraline, known as Botox in a bottle, which is gonna smooth out, help minimize dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. And it's really, really nice. I've used this a couple of times. I think this is my second bottle I'm opening now. And if you see how it goes onto the skin, it has a really nice milky consistency. Your skin will drink this up. Honestly, it will just, sink in like that. Hydrate, plump, great for anti-aging. But yeah, I think my main issue with this is the brand don't sell it very well. They call it a milky toner. What they should be calling it is like the perfect anti-aging essence. That was how I would brand it because I think it's so good. I paid £16 for this and you get 150 mil. It's quite affordable. I would say of all the products I mentioned today, this is definitely my top three of these bestsellers. So, so good and worthy of a place on this list. Um, moving from toners to mists, this is the Holica Holica Good Sera um, Super Ceramide Mist. I've spoken about this on the channel because I actually love, love, love this product. Um, this is packed full of ceramides, which are great for boosting the barrier function of the skin, calming, soothing. But it's also got a great uh, range of different ingredients to hydrate and nourish. It's just a great all-round mist. And let me tell you, the mist on this, oh, the best mist. Yoga, I inhaled all of that. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you don't do jump cuts and edits. You end up inhaling your mist. Um, this though, so good. I would recommend everyone that wants some ceramide action early on in their skincare routine gets this. After you've cleansed, spritz this and you will find all the rest of your serums go on so, so much better. It's, it's just a really, really nice product. Um, you can also use this as a bit of a setting spray. So if you've put on all your makeup and you look in the mirror and think, Maybe it's a little bit chalkier a look than I wanted to go for. I need something to just, you know, perfect everything. A couple of spritz of this. It's such a fine mist. It doesn't pull. And it works really nice as a bit of like a setting mist um, after you've applied makeup or powder makeup products. So good. All round, a holy grail. One will last me forever. And Holica Holica are now in some physical retailers in the States as well. So all the links below are for online retailers where I get my Korean skincare, but you can get this in some um, online physical stores as well. So it's nice to have that option, whether you want to buy online, you go into a physical store and pick it up. Holica Holica, I think, are a brand to really keep your eye on for the next year. So we're planning through, and there's two products here that have been on this list forever. I mentioned in that video that I linked earlier that there are some difficulties in the Korean skincare market. Some of the bigger brands 
aren't performing as they used to. Um, however, there's two products that have been around for the longest time. And um, it's these two. So this is the Holika Holika. Oh, okay. do you know what? I only just realized this is Holika Holika. Same as this. This is also, this has been around for, my, one of my first skincare videos I ever watched was James Welsh, absolutely fangirling hard over this, probably five years ago, four years ago. I don't think he uses it anymore, but he absolutely loved it five years ago. It was one of the first skincare product, uh, videos I watched. So this is the Holika Holika um, Aloe, which is 99% fresh moisturizing aloe. I love aloe, it calms, it soothes, it's really nice for inflammation prone skin to hydrate. I like this. I would just say that my one, like the one drawback to it is the scent. So aloe itself can smell a bit earthy, a bit, not to everyone's taste, so they've masked that with a scent, which for me is a little bit much. Um, I prefer, if I'm using something that's calming and soothing, I would prefer for it to be fragrance free, personally. I like fragrance in my skincare, but I would rather get it in like a cleanser or something like that. I think a calming, soothing ingredient or profile product should be ideally um, fragrance free. Just my take, Th this is nice. It's not too expensive. It is packed full of aloe, great. If you're going, um, you know, on holiday, you're exposed to a little bit of extra sun than you normally used to. Aloe is usually the go-to for like an after sun product. This is a really great option for that, yeah. I just wish it didn't maybe have that scent to it. Um, this, this, um, the, <laughs> this is the Milano CC Brightening Essence. This is their vitamin C. Um, this has been around for years. I didn't buy this with the rest of these products because I've had this in the collection probably three or four years. Um, this is hideously out of date by now. Um, I just know it is. But I kept it because people keep referencing and asking my thoughts on it. My issue with this is they don't tell you what the vitamin C concentration is in it. I think in 2024, we should be asking more from our brands. You know, brands will say, oh, it's a proprietary formulation. We can't tell you the percentage. I know as a brand owner myself, having just relaunched my entire uh, Mad About Skin skincare line, um, that I, there's nothing proprietary about this. Just be honest with your percentages, with your formulations. I will be honest with any of you guys about the pe percentages in any of my own skincare products because what am I hiding? I think the only reason you wouldn't share them is because you're using a lower percentage than maybe you're implying and you don't want people to find out about it. That's all I can really assume. And that's probably what's happening with this. Now, some people really love this product um, because it does brighten the skin, but without knowing what the percentage of the concentration of vitamin C is, we, I just think we need to better from brands. So yeah, this for me is a pass um, just because of that. It's also quite oily in terms of its consistency. I'm not sure if they're cruelty free. I'm now entirely cruelty free in my skincare purchases. I wasn't when I bought this four years ago, so I wasn't checking. I'm not sure if they are. I'll, I'll check that out and I'll link it below alongside the product so you guys know completely. The rest are this. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I haven't bought it in the last four years. I just think we could probably do better. Know your vitamin C strengths, and I think we should demand more from brands to know exactly what's in our product. Like I say, with the relaunch of the Mad About Skin um, collection, which literally happened two days ago, and I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you out there, for it's, it's honestly gone far better than my wildest dreams, and yeah, just for the love, kindness, and support, thank you so, so much. Um, not a Korean skincare brand, so I'm not going to focus on it on this video, but yeah, just thank you so, so much. And I have linked, I'll link the website if you want to check out the new rebranded products. Share with me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um, I will link that below as well. Um, so for another, I think this, if I was going to guess what would be the number one best-selling Korean skincare product, it would be not this, a version of this. Have you seen those collagen masks doing the rounds on TikTok, um, on Instagram, where you put them on the like milky white, you put them on the skin, you sleep in them, then they're translucent when you wake up and all that collagen soaked into the skin and it gives you like glass skin perfection. I'll find an image of it and I'll leave it here so you know what I'm on about. That is probably the best selling Korean skincare product of this quarter. I don't like them. I don't want a. I don't want a mask that I have to wear for twelve hours. I don't really like the ingredients list that much on any of the products. There's different versions of them. Um, I don't. I just don't like the ingredients list that much. I like collagen as an ingredient. I think it's a great humectant, but I think we can do better. So avoid that. And if you want like a viral collagen mask, get this one. This is the VT um, Dressing Hydro Gel Mask. This is the collagen Riedel Shot version. This you get like a mask in this, and you get like an ampule's worth of um, serum here. You put the serum on, you put the mask on, leave it on. Well, they say for two hours, but you can leave it on four if you want extra hydration. 
this is great. It uses their VT read or shot technology to really get that collagen into the skin where it needs to be. Um, it helps exfoliate, it smooths everything out, plumps you to the gods. It's a great option. This, this is so much better than those other ones that you see going viral. So I would say get ahead of the curve, ignore the viral ones, go for this one instead. Like I said, I'll link this. I really like this. I've used like three now. Definitely one of the best like masks, sheet masks I've ever found. So we're into the home straight. Um, one brand that features very prominently in these top tens all the time is Skin 1004. One of my personal favorite Korean skincare brands. They just, they do it really, really well. Um, one product that hasn't been in this top 10 yet, but is this quarter, is this. This is the Skin 1004 Pro Bio Seeker Enriched Cream. Now, the reason I think this is in the top 10 bestsellers now, as opposed to any other time, is because um, fermented, enriched, barrier-supporting, microbiome-supporting skincare is a hot trend at the moment. And this, this kind of capitalizes on that. It uses fermented ingredients to boost the barrier function of the skin, the microbiome of the skin. Great for overall skin health. And it's a really nice moisturizer in its own right. I love this. Um, it's one of those I have on hand when my skin's feeling like it needs a little extra TLC. Look at that. Really nice packaging. Um, it, it's just a really, really nice product. This is a newer one. Um, I've probably used this a couple of times for fragrance free as well, which I like. I've used this a couple of times. I tend to reach for this more in the winter when my skin needs that extra drink of hydration as opposed to the summer where I'm oily, but it's great. It's one that I always have on hand and it comes with this little spatulette thing where you can scoop some out with this side, massage it in with this. This is great for getting into the nooks and crannies under the eye. I, yeah, it's nice. It's a lovely moisturizer. Um, it's not featured on the top 10 bestsellers recently, to my knowledge, but I'm glad. And I think that fermented skincare trend is, is a really good one to get involved with if you want to improve overall barrier function and stuff. My top tip though, if you really like, if you like Skin 1004, one of their hidden gems is this. This is the um, Zombie Beauty Mummy Pack from Skin 1004. Same brand that creates this, creates it, I know. It doesn't seem like it's really in keeping with their brand. But this is great. If there is a, if, if you're acne prone, if you have, um, I don't know if you have persistent breakouts, blackheads, anything like that. Also, if um, there's a teen in your life that maybe wants to get into skincare, but wants something that's actually going to do some good. This is great. It's got activated charcoal in. It's got a great blend of other calming and soothing ingredients. You mix the two together, apply it. It dries like a crust, but it really will get to grips with your blackheads, your sebaceous filaments, minimize breakouts. This is great. So if like me, you're super acne prone, um, even into like, in my case, I'm approaching 40, still acne prone, this works. If there's a teenager in your life, this is a great option. It's not in the bestsellers list. I'm just giving you it as an extra favorite from me. I think this is great. It's also really great for lifting and firming. So even if you don't have acne, and you just want to lift firm and tight, this is a great option. One of my favorites is Skin 1004 that never gets any love. So we are onto the final two products, which are these two. Both relative newcomers to the Korean skincare space. And I think often brands, when they launch new products, do a lot of marketing, advertising, it goes viral, it appears on one of these um, bestsellers lists. And then I think it's testament to the product whether it actually lasts on the bestsellers. Do people rebuy it? So this one is the Purito Fermented Complex 94 Boosting Essence. Again, very much in keeping with that fermented skincare trend that I spoke of with Skin 1004. It's really nice. If you like your fermented ingredients, this is really nice. It's a hydrating, plumping essence. Really nice. Purito, not my big, not my favorite Korean skincare brand, but when they do it right, I'm always going to say they do it right. And this, this is a really, really nice product. And um, one brand I'm a huge fan of is K Secret. This is their Soul 1988 line. This is their cleansing oil. Now this actually has prebiotics. So again, in keeping with that microbiome, that fermented um, ingredients kind of vibe, this is phenomenal. One of the best cleansing oils you're gonna find. It's super affordable as well, so you can use it on the body, you can use it on the face. It's just amazing. You've got Seeker in here, alongside different compounds within Seeker, like uh, metacasticide and metacastic acid. You've also got prebiotics. Um, it's, it's just really nice. If you want a cleansing oil that's got a little bit more than just removing makeup, you know, it's actually got some beneficial skincare in here. This, this is one of my favorite recommendations. I also really like the Skin 1004 cleansing oil, but yeah, this is this is really good. And I would say, if I'm looking over, if I'm looking over this top 10 bestsellers list, it's pretty decent. I mean, um, this, probably not. I think the aloe is fine if you don't mind fragrance in your aloe. I think the actual collagen masks are garbage, so use this one instead. But with the exception of that, I think the rest is pretty solid. People are buying pretty good Korean skincare. 
in my opinion. Um, so let me know your thoughts on any of these. Were you shocked to see that the Cosrx Snail Mucin is not in this list for the first time in living Korean skincare memory? Um, are you surprised that some of your other favourites aren't in here? I know I certainly was. So let me know what you think is missing. But anyway, wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.